you to hop short. If you were to take a boat and go 60 to 80 miles offshore, you might see some things like the dolphin fish in here, or a yellowfin tuna, or maybe even some hammerhead sharks. Some pretty incredible animals that we have in this exhibit, and of course, they all need to eat. And so that is what our main focus is going to be on today, all of the different mammals that need to eat. Now, while we all need to be able to get that great seafood, we also have to have a place to prepare it. That is where the top of this exhibit comes into play. You'll notice on either side of this exhibit, we have monitors there. And if you check out those monitors, you will see exactly what this exhibit looks like from the top. It is essentially a gigantic swimming pool. There are cat rocks up there, and that even has our kitchen where we prepare the food for all of these animals to be able to eat. Now, standing by us there is a good friend of mine and a great co-worker, Haley. And he is going to help us introduce this feeding this morning and get us started. Now, let's check in with her now. Good morning, Haley. Good morning, Christina. Good morning, everyone. Can you hear me down there okay? Now, if you can hear me, let's give her a big wave and say good morning. As she cannot see or hear you. <laughs> Nice, Haley, that is awesome. Now I can see there's someone behind you on that catwalk there. What are we going to be expecting for the feeding this morning? Yeah, so right above my shoulder here, we have Christy, and they're gonna be tossing out some food. So first up, we're gonna be feeding those bigger, faster swimming fish, the dolphin fish and the yellow fin tuna. So how we're gonna be feeding them is called a broadcast feed. Essentially, that just means we're gonna be tossing the food all across the water, and whoever's interested, whoever's hungry, and they definitely look hungry here in the exhibit. We've got them circling around up top, waiting for that food. So after the big fish get fed, do we have any other mouths to feed? So after those big fish have some nice and full bellies, we're then going to be feeding that massive school of 10,000 Pacific sardines. So just like those big fish, we're also going to toss their food, broadcast it into the water. Their diet is a lot different than the big fish, but we'll see some fish fireworks soon with them. Nice, we've got that big school of sardines on the left hand side over here. So that sounds like an awesome jam pack speaking, Haley. Are we ready to get started with it? We're about ready to go. I'm ready to get the signal of you. Okay, are we all ready for this super secret hand signal? Whenever you're ready, Haley. All right, so this is a top secret signal. Don't tell your folks at home. Here we go. <laughs> oh, there it is. Thank you so much, Haley. Would you be able to join us down here afterwards? Eating. Absolutely. Just a moment. I'm going to head on down. In the meantime, enjoy those fish fireworks. Thank you so much. Now we'll turn our attention back to the exhibit here. As you can see, in that first large handful of food got tossed into the water. Now, for these big fish here, they do eat a little bit different than our sardines in this exhibit. They are going to be getting a two course meal. The first course is going to be some market squid, or you may know as calamari. Do I have any seafood fans here? Okay, totally okay to admit, admit that you're a seafood fan, even if you're at an aquarium here. Uh, these larger fish up top, the similar shaped animals with the larger heads, the very shiny ones, those are going to be our dolphin fish. You may know them as a couple of other names though. They go by dolphin fish, El Dorado, or Mahi Mahi. Yeah, you all know that name. Now those Mahi Mahi are also joined by our yellowfin tuna, the football shaped fish zipping around pretty quickly in the water here. Those yellowfin tuna also go, as, go by Ahi tuna. So uh, lots of good choices in the water here. And as they're enjoying all of this immense food, they're getting about 25 pounds of squid this morning. We can see that our sardines are getting a little interested, but I promise their food will come a little later. We also have our hammerhead sharks joining us, kind of zipping throughout here. Now the hammerheads don't normally participate in this feeding. They actually get fed off to the side and get offered food a couple of times throughout the week. Believe it or not, they don't eat nearly as much as you probably think they do. But when they do eat, we offer them a piece of salmon filet on the end of a stick. Now the way it around in the exhibit, our hammerhead shark will come on over and then take that 
to, to go just like that. <laughs> now these the Amberhead sharks in here again don't eat very much, and so we make sure that we offer them enough food to where their stomachs always stay nice and full, so that they're not interested in going after any of their roommates in 